Vivian Marcuse, licensed by the Department of Financial Institutions, NMLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona, 0941504. Florida, L076508. Georgia, 69178. Idaho, Nevada, 57237. Oregon, Tennessee, 184373. Texas, Washington, MLO 237926. She's a mortgage mom. She can get things done. When you're in need and don't know where to go, pick up the phone and call mom. Hello and welcome to Mortgage Mom Radio. I'm Debbie Marcoux and I am the Mortgage Mom. And I'm coming to you on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and this week on Thursday with all kinds of different uh, topics for you, all things real estate and mortgage. It's all the education and information that you could need. Today's hot topic is about appraisal waivers. I've actually had this come up quite a few times here recently. So I wanted to make sure that I actually touch base on it because I have a lot of clients who are coming to me with a contract in hand. They've written an offer and they're super excited and they tell me we have an appraisal waiver. We waived our appraisal. And I just want to make sure that everybody understands what the difference is between an appraisal waiver with lending and an appraisal waiver or when you're waiving your appraisal in your purchase contract when you are buying a home. A waiver with a lender means that we have taken your loan application, we have run a decision through the system, so Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, And it comes back with an automated decision that it does not want an appraisal. It doesn't require one. If the computer system says that, that means all things are a go with the lender as far as the property is concerned, that we agree with the value. We do not have to send an appraiser out to get that done. And we move on. We move forward. However, when you do an appraisal waiver in your purchase contract, that is a different story. That means that you are waiving your right to get the property appraised. And even if the property value comes in low, it doesn't matter. You are waiving your right to make sure that the property is valued at what you are willing to pay for it. So get this right for a second. If your lender says, we need an appraisal, I could not get a waiver No matter what, we're ordering an appraisal to do your loan. But if your appraisal doesn't come in at value, it comes in low, you have told the seller in your contract that you are going to move forward at the purchase price that you offered no matter what. So you are waiving your right to the appraisal, which means if your value comes in low, you're going to buy that house anyway at that price you agreed to. So what does that mean to you as a buyer? Well, if the property value comes in at 200 and you wrote 210 and everybody agreed to that price, you now owe $10,000 over value out of pocket. That is in addition to your down payment and your closing costs. So again, there is a huge, huge difference between the lender saying, hey, we got lucky. We've got an appraisal waiver. If you don't want to do an appraisal, you don't have to. All things go versus writing in your contract, I am waiving my right to an appraisal. I will buy your house no matter where the value comes in at as determined by my lender. So if we require an appraisal, even though you said you were waiving it, we are still going to make you get one. We're going to make you pay for one. And if it comes in low, you are going to pay the difference out of pocket plus your down payment and your closing costs. So keep that in mind. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, this is just a quick, fast topic for a Thursday. I am here to help. I am here to take your questions, answer them for you. Get yourself on the books. Go to mortgagemomradio.com. Book your appointment today. You can click on that book appointment button. Make sure that you book the appointment and talk with one of us. We'd be more than happy to educate you and bring you through it and make sure that you understand you know, what you're getting into before you write that contract. How else can you get a hold of us? Well, give us a call. It's 844-935-3634. That's 844-WE-LEND-FOR-YOU. That's W-E-L-E-N-D and the number four. 
That's all for today, but I would love to keep answering questions. Remember that this is an interactive show. Whether we're doing it live or we're premiering a video, we are always here to answer those questions. Keep typing them into the feed. Make sure that you, uh, I'm going to make sure that I answer them for you. And when it's live, I'm going to read them out loud and I'm going to answer them right there during the show. So the best way to know that we've gone live or that we've got a video premiering is to subscribe to the channel. Right there on Mortgage Mom Radio, subscribe, Mortgage Mom Radio on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell, and turn it to all. We'll be back next week, and if you guys could give us a big thumbs up, we would absolutely love it. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Debbie Marcuse, licensed by the Department of Financial Institutions, NMLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona, 0941504. Florida, L076508. Georgia, 69178. Idaho, Nevada, 57237. Oregon, Tennessee, 184373. Texas, Washington, MLO 237926. She's a mortgage mom. She can get things done. When you're in need and don't know where to go, pick up the phone and call mom.